If you have played Fortnite at any time over the last three years, then you have most likely encountered an aura at some point. They may have been building five-star hotels all over you in a match, one pumping and donkey laughing everyone in sight. They may have just been a casual who thought the skin looked cool, or they may have just simply appeared in the item shop for the... Uh, hang on, let me check this. 35th time! That may not sound like a lot, but put that into perspective, and the skin returns roughly every month, so that means the skin has returned consistently in the shop for almost two years. So, what is it about Aura that makes her such a popular skin to run? Why has she been brought back time and time and time again, standing the test of time, and most importantly, how did she become the iconic sweat skin that we know her as today? To understand, we must first go back to the beginning. Aura was designed and submitted by community creator Fantasyful. She was added to the Fortnite item shop on the 8th of May, 2019, the last day of Season 8. This will be important later. The skin was a smash hit almost immediately, and the reasons of which are not fully understood, but I think it was a massive collection of circumstances that made the perfect scenario for Aura to be a massive hit. First, the skin was 800 V-Bucks, like at the time incredibly popular Crystal. And with that season's battle pass being free, many people thought that it would be a good purchase. Another thing that helped the skin was that it was unusually slim, and for the now really popular competitive scene, born out of the little known event known as the Fortnite World Cup, it was just a far more popular skin, just because it took up less space on the screen. And finally, the skin just looked good. It was an interesting casual approach that looked very grounded in the game with such fantastical characters. This might have made the skin much more relatable and thus very popular. Aura very quickly became more and more popular. As the weeks went on and more people saw popular streamers and pros running her and wanted to be a professional like them. And so when the skin returned around a month later, as they usually do, it was bought in droves. However, it didn't reach its peak until Chapter 2, Season 2 came out. And with it, a second, just as casual style that made the skin so much more worth it. However, at the same time, the skin was being run so much by players that were getting sweatier and sweatier by the day that many people no longer saw the skin as being an interesting casual approach but instead as a skin that represented the lowest form of daylight deprived 12 year olds who do nothing but grind and creative 24 7. When talking about Aura, the best way I can describe Aura is overrun. A once unique but not too special skin that had been run to death by literally everyone, becoming overrated and tired. When talking about something being good but being overused, there are two main examples that come to my mind. The first is Megalovania from Undertale. Now, I love this song, I bet you love this song, everyone loves this song, and that's the problem. The song was so loved, so memed, and so infamous, that it just became boring and tired. As an example of how much this song had been remixed and replayed, here's a hundred remixes of it at once. The second is something else in meme culture, being the Mr. Incredible becoming uncanny meme. This meme came out of nowhere and had a very split audience. Some people loved it, some people hated it, but the thing that everyone agrees on is that it died within a couple of weeks, and that was because of overuse. The problem with Aura, while she didn't die off within a couple of weeks like Mr. Incredible over here, is that she maintained a cringe status due to her being in literally every single lobby and almost certainly boxing you like a fish and sending you back to the lobby in 0.25 seconds, serenading you out with either a mocking donkey laugh, the distorted tones of take the L, or with just a shower of clown emojis. 
Now, I know I've been a bit cynical towards old Laura this entire video, so I'll try and see the positives of the skin. The skin itself doesn't look that bad, in my opinion. It's not the best of skins, but for what you get, it's pretty good. The skin is cheap, you get three styles, which is one of the best values in the game, only surpassed by that of a battle pass, or Manic, who now has four styles. It clearly gives epic money, because, as I mentioned, the skin is brought back every single month, and I'm so happy that Epic gets this money because they're such a good company. It's also a community created skin and one of the first at that. And finally, it gives people a specific conduit to target their gamer rage at. With Aura being over three years old now, the skin does not appear to be losing its popularity anytime soon. It's still seen in every game mode, creative map, and item shop every 30 days, and it will be popular long into the future. At this point, the skin is as iconic as the great skins like Peely, Fishstick, and even Jonesy. And the most incredible thing is there are only four versions of the skin out there. So it seems that despite being overrun and overrated and ultra cringe at this point, the skin is going to stick around for the foreseeable future. Hi, uh, this is 4AM Cactus in editing. I just wanted to give a huge shout out to Outlaw Ridley, who filmed all of the aura shots that were used in the video, and without whom this video may not have been possible. So, huge shout out to them, go subscribe, they make um, like sport YouTube shorts, it's pretty cool. Also, you know, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitch, I stream there, you can see me record videos live like, comment, etc. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Cut to outro.